watermelon on my fingers, <laughs> strawberries or whatever. Okay, the most important thing is, uh, first of all, is to actually know what you're going to be working on. So where everything is. So it's kind of a revision, some of you know it very well, some of you might have forgotten it, but uh, when we go to work on somebody, if I just said, look, uh, at L5 do this for me, at L4 do that for me, and at L5 they question the right just next to me, say, come do that for me. Some of you know where to go, some of you have what the hell are you talking about? So uh, we'll just start from the beginning. Uh, what we're going to do is find the iliac crest first of all. So you always come from the top palpating. If you come from the top, okay, you find the iliac crest very, very easy. If you try to start from here, you don't know if you're going upwards or downwards. So you don't know which way you're going to go. And people uh, look different laying down to what you might see laying you know, standing up. So always start from the top, from the, from the thoracic region. You work your way down. And there's the iliac crest there. I can do the same thing on both sides. So once you know where the iliac crest is, because that will give us you know, a pyramidal for certain muscles above it and certain muscles below it. Then we, from there we want to go find the iliac crest, work your way in, until you come up to what we call the posterior superior leg spine, which is there. Now I just felt that if I just follow that around, just gently, find the posterior superior leg spine, which is a little bump we have there. Okay. And there's a bump, and I can see it there. Some people have a nice little dimple there. Mm. <laughs> so, and there it is there. So my palpation is very gentle. Yeah, I'm not aggravating the person while I'm doing it. One thing we notice with pal people that palpate <coughs> uh, is that they're a bit rough. If I see people like that, I know they can't palpate to save their lives. They should go back to school again. So if you're doing this sort of thing, you don't know what the hell you're doing, because you can't palpate like that. Palpation relies on you systematically going from one area to another one, very gently following something around, whether it be that way or that way or whatever you like. Also taking into the fact that we're looking for layer, what we call layer palpation, where we can feel the top, you can go with the thing a little bit deeper, you can move the subcutaneous tissue through to the fascia, through to the bone. So we go back to the beginning when we're doing this. We go back to normal palpation where you feel, there it is, there's a bone, I can feel the fatty tissue on top, I can feel the skin, is it rough, is it dry, is it wet? Telling me if there's sympathetic activity going on there. Uh, are the muscles tight? I don't have to go very hard. Okay, and just palpate to, to the area I'm trying to find. Here's a piece. So I found that, same thing on the other side. It's cold, came down, palpated iliac crest, work my way, I can feel my bones until I've got both posterior superior leg spines. Okay, so I know where I am there. Uh, from there, uh, once I've got that, uh, I know where the sacroiliac joint is going to be, and I know where my last lumbar is going to be as well, so I know where the uh, lumbar spine is. Another option I can do to find the lumbar spine is I go from the iliac crests and I, may, I draw a line from the two top levels across from one side to the other side. And right in the middle of that, I should be approximately the fourth lumbar vertebra will be there. So I know if that's the fourth one, <coughs> that one is number five. And if I really look at it again, if I go sideways, there's a PSIS again. So I can always triangulate, I know exactly where I am. <coughs> So if people say it hurts here or it hurts there, I know what structure I'm on. And if it hurts there, it's a sacroiliac joint. If I know it hurts there, it's L5. So we have to know what's underneath your hands first of all. So once I found L4, okay, it's like a little, like a table, okay, shape. It's flat on top, it's, it's not pointy. It's kind of like, 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 like that, and you've got two of them together. And you've a very little gap, in, small gap in between. So uh, once I found L5, which is there, sacrum will be here, I can actually count them. So there's, see there's the fifth one here, there's number four, number three, number two, number one, first the rest of them. You should be able to know which each level those you're dealing with. So it's just by palpation again. So that's easy, counting. Five to one. Okay, 
So we know where we are, what's hurting, where it is. So once we can do that, I can uh, retrace my steps back to here again and now work along the uh, SI joint here and I want to find my the posterior inferior iliac spine. Okay, so what I'll do then, I'm going to bring this down a fraction further, is that alright with you? Yeah. All good mission these things. So I come down here again and uh, it's the iliac crest. I travel down, down, and there's the tr great trochanter. Trochanter's there. And I know that if uh, trochanter's there, I know certain muscles are going to come off the trochanter. Mm -hmm. So uh, I go back to my posterior superior spine, which is there. And if I follow the outside of it, it's quite a sharp bone there. Okay. I'll come to the, I'll come around the corner here and I hit what we call the posterior inferior iliac spine. And it's kind of sharp little bit. And it's got a little bit of an inlet, like a little bay, but very small. Hmm. Your finger can fit in there nicely. And that's now the edge of your sacrum. You should know where the sacrum lies. So the sacrum is here. And I'm just going to bring down a fraction. Yeah, sacrum's there. Still the sacrum. Still the sacrum. It's got about a, it's going around the corner here now. Just a little corner. So from here to here, sacrum. So posterior leg spine, posterior superior, posterior inferior, sacrum. Now let's say I'm trying to find that particular muscle. And most of you want to find the piriformis usually. So it's only going to occur between there and there. It comes out of a little hollow underneath the spine and travels to the retrocanna but travels behind it. So the, the muscle would only lie in that small region. So it would be right there. Or else. Can't be above it or below it. Uh, so we got posterior superior, posterior inferior, sacrum. And the last bit before it goes around the corner is called a so called an inferior angle or inferior lateral angle of the sacrum, the ILA. So these are all your basics so far. Okay. So iliac crests, posterior superior, posterior inferior, sacrum, ILA, vertebral canon. And all your so far basics. Five, four, three, two, one, etc. T twelve. Next. So now uh, once you've found all those bits the uh, next thing you want to do is make sure that you know where the transverse processes are. They're the bit sticking out sideways. They're quite wide. Okay, they're wider than most people think. If I come in from the side here a little bit, that's it there. Okay. Most people think they're hitting the quadratus lumborum, by the way. Mm. Now you can probably feel if I just go a little bit into it. Yeah. And this side here. Transverse process can be there. The QL is that further out from it? That much? Sorry, how much? One gun. Tiny bit. It's not as people wide as they think it is because that's a transverse process. So a lot of people hitting this, if they think they're hitting the QL, they quite often they're hitting the transverse processes. So you've got to make sure that you're not hitting this. So they come quite wide. So I knew, for example, there is again there. I can feel that one a little bit. Now I'm pushing into it. Now let's say I wanted to find the QL for real. What I have to do first of all is find the 12th root. So I come up back up to here. I'll, I'll do it on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's got a rib second out, like share or something, you know? <laughs> Make a waist look smaller. <laughs> Now, if you look at the ribcage itself, feel your own ribcage. If you imagine a line down the center of your ribcage, okay, you'll come across uh, a little bump. If you push from front to back, anterior to posterior, you'll feel that you're hitting a, a lump. Mm. That's your 12th rib. Mm. Okay, it's right down the midline. Mm. And that's how I look for first. So once I've found the 12th rib, and they're quite low down, if you think about it. Yeah. Okay. There's a hurt. Ilium is right there next to it. So you only get that much room between the 12th rib and the hip. Now if I come up, I follow that rib upwards a little bit. I've just hit the 11th rib. Look at the 11th rib there. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, because I've come up from the 12th one, work my way up underneath it until I hit another bump sticking out. So imagine that's 
like that, and then I follow this up until I hit this point here. Okay, so there's a 12th one, I work underneath it until I hit that. Uh, 12 foot. Yeah, but you don't push on it. You just palpate, that's what I'm saying, you've got to palpate gently. Uh, okay, so there it is there. So I know if that's 11, the 12th one, if I go underneath that one again, which is there, just underneath it, and I don't go too far in, that's a QL. It's the only way you're going to find it. Otherwise, you just hit and miss like you're trying to guess. So if you can't find the bones, you cannot find the muscle. And the bones are really easy because they're hard. <laughs> okay. Hopefully they're hard. Anyway. Some people's QLs are pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Never that hard at the bones. So it's, it's really important to be able to find the bones. If you're not, you, there's no way you're going to find the muscles. And you're always going to try to, am I there or not? Uh, the reason I know this is because, I mean, I've been teaching for 24 years. And even before that, I was teaching muscles elsewhere. And, um, and if I ask somebody to find the muscle for me, they can't find it. Just to tell them, okay, find me Lee Costellis, uh, the thoracic portion, please, only. We know only only happens in certain areas. So, Lee Costellis path, you know, only happens in a short area there. So, if you go a bit higher here or higher there, you miss it. If I say, you know, find gluteus medius. Well, we know it starts up here. So if you start down here, some of you missed it. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, fine. Piriformis for me. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it only lies between that, there, that. And there, and the toilet there, and this. It can only be here, nowhere else. Find quadratus femoris. It's back here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Because there's only, all you have to do is find the bone, nothing else. So the bone is very, very important to find. So that's what we want you to do, first of all. You gotta be able to find these spots, Ilya Chris. Okay. You should be able to follow it until you hit the posterior superior spine. You should be able to follow that until you hit the posterior inferior spine. You should be able to follow that until you hit the inferior lateral angle. That's easy. Just find the trochanter down here. From here, find L4, find L5. Be able to count all the way up to first thoracic. Find the twelfth uh, rib. Find the eleventh rib and the transverse processes. Once you can do that, then you can know, then you, we can find the muscles. So that's what we're going to do first of all. You should know that backwards, then once you know that backwards, you'll feel good about what you're going to do, where you're going to push. Okay, because then we'll just be, I'll say, well, just go lateral to the iliac, on the iliac crest, I want you to go lateral to it, just past the PSIS, okay, and work the two inches on top of that for the cluneal nerve. If we can't find that, then we can't work on the tissues. So, uh, <coughs> we can have fun doing this first. Have you got a chart for us to look at? Actually, in your notes, you should have uh, uh, pictures. Uh, don't worry about the Just, But if you know where to go, you know the iliac lateral to the yeah. SIS, you know where it is. Okay. But uh, in your notes, they should have actually anatomy. Uh, can I just this for a second? <coughs> Look, here we go. It's all in your notes. And you got the muscles there as well, but uh, you got the bones. 